the homogeneous mixture of solute in a solvent is known as solution. The component which dissolves is known as solute. Solute is generally present in smaller amounts, example sugar. The component in which the substance dissolves is known as solvent, example water. There are two types of solutions, aqueous and non-aqueous. In aqueous solution, the solvent is water. And in a non-aqueous solution, water is not the solvent, example alcoholic solution. Now let us look at the concentration of solutions. Depending upon the amount of solute dissolved in given volume of solvent, it is classified into these types. If the amount of solute is very less as compared to the amount of solvent, then the solution is known as dilute. Concentrated solution. If the amount of solute dissolved is comparable to the amount of solvent, the solution is said to be concentrated. Depending upon the amount of the solute, the solution can be further categorized into three types. Unsaturated solution. A solution in which more of solute can be dissolved at the given temperature is said to be unsaturated. Saturated solution. A solution in which no more of the solute can be dissolved at the given temperature is said to be saturated solution at that temperature. Supersaturated solution. A solution in which more of solute is present at a given temperature than in saturated solution is called supersaturated solution. Did you know that supersaturated solutions often show crystallization? Sugar crystallizes in sugar syrups. Following are the various characteristics of a solution. It is clear and transparent. It is homogeneous and consists of a single phase. It can be filtered without leaving any residue on the ordinary filter paper. The particles of solute cannot be seen even under microscope. The solute can be easily recovered from solution by applying physical methods. The size of particles of solute is less than 1 nanometer.